Hey, what is up guys? My name is The Technical Over here and welcome to The Daily Tech. Without further delay, let's get started. Now this news is a critical one. We all know the current situation between India and China. The tensions are at an ever high after 1975. Amid this, Indian intelligence agencies have red flagged 52 Chinese apps. Now let's talk a bit about its background. Now whenever we are using an app which is having our camera, location and microphone permissions, a lot of data is collected and knowingly or maybe secretly, all of this data is sent to the app developer. Generally, they would use this information to improve their product. Now, as long as this data is anonymous and is being used for improving the product by the app developer, it is fine to some extent. But in case it has been accessed by the government of a foreign country, that too during the tensions like India and China are having, it's not a good idea. It's not safe also. The current Chinese government almost monitors everything and this data happens to be one of them. And in the past we have seen the allegations being raised and proven on the apps from Xiaomi, apps like QC Browser and a lot of other Chinese apps. As a result we saw US government banning any American company to work with Huawei because they suspected that the Chinese government might be spying on Americans with the help of Huawei. This recommendation which was made by the agencies has been supported by the National Security Council Secretariat, the NSCS. So if you are using any apps like TikTok, Share It, Zender, UC, CleanMaster or Me Store, Me Community app, even apps like Zoom, then this might be the time to take this warning seriously and get rid of these apps. Now there is a long list of apps which is present in the description and I would really appreciate if you could go and make a check that you don't have any of these apps. Also, this might be the time to share this video and spread it more than ever amid this Indochina tensions. Recently, we saw a leak of Wrangle 2.0 coming. And this indeed happened, Wrangle 2.0 along with the Payload 2.0 has been released in Chinese PUBG. So there won't be a long wait till it makes to the global versions. Let's look out for that. The PlayStation 5 was recently revealed and after having a look at its amazing design and its mind-boggling specs, we anticipate a premium price point for this. But recently, PlayStation 5 was accidentally listed on Amazon and the price was as low as 400 euros. If this turns out to be a news and not just a gimmick, then this is a great information and we should be really looking forward to the PlayStation 5. Twitter has recently started testing the audio tweets and this is exclusively available just on iOS for now. Now you are able to post an audio tweet of up to 2 minutes and 20 seconds. The upcoming S series phone that is S30 might be having a 6 camera setup because Samsung has patented apparatus and method for operating multiple cameras for digital photography last year in December. Now a great aspect of this patent was the cameras would be able to have different angles, different tilts at all times. So let's just keep our fingers crossed and keep watching for it. The recent leaks we shared suggested that the Note 20, the basic variant would be coming with a flat display. This indeed turns out to be true. But now we have a bummer for you. Because besides being a flat display, it might also be a letdown by just being at 60Hz. I think that this might be a feature of a Note 20 Lite series. Let's look out for it. POCO M2 Pro it got a BIS certification and it is expected to launch in July. We don't have any other information on the specs but they are going to be pretty game changing. Let's look out for this one. Well that is it guys, that is it for today. I hope you liked the video. In case you did then please show some love and support by hitting that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, share the video with your friends who are tech enthusiasts and help the channel grow. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon. Till then, stay at home and take care. Bye bye.